Alright, time for a K6 game. I'm gonna be going against a Shivana here, who seems to be going for like the tanky setup with based on the resolve and everything, so uh, it's gonna be uh, interesting. I went for the lethality, I'm gonna go for a one-shot build here basically, which is not specifically great against this team. They're gonna be quite tanky. If I fall behind, I'm gonna be absolutely screwed, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have some good fun with it. 50 seconds, we press recall here, place the ward in the bush, and then we will be picking up the uh, sweeping trinket. This way I'll know if she starts or if she yoinks my red buff, and I'll be able to play around that one pretty nicely. Also another thing, 70% uh, of people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed. If you are one of those people, consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and uh, yeah. Based on them being here, p poking at this moment in the game, I'm assuming she starts blue buff. Which is fine. I want to clear towards top early game here, because the uh, Urgold has Ignite. So if I can have some impact in top lane quite early on, that would be, that would be good. I have wards here, so I know if the Zix is going to try to steal this or mess with me. If that does happen, I might have to smite this. But ideally, that shouldn't be the case. Based on Urgold's... Actually, did she... They're late to bot lane here, so I actually think she may have started bot side still. That's interesting. I'm not 100% sure what she did just now. Based on Urgot's positioning and everything. Did she just start leashless or did bot lane just give her, give her the late leash? Because they were actually late in lane, so I think they may have made it in time towards the leash still. Which means I could technically invade her on a Grom if I want to. On like blue grump that type of situation. Hmm, I'll I'll probably won't do that. L based on like aggression position, like aggression differences, having them having a pantheon mid as well. I think I'd get collapsed and die, so that would be pretty bad. Also, I don't want to disrespect Shivana damage with press the attack in the early game. It's quite scary. So I think I'm just gonna chill, full clear, just play it a little slow. And, uh, yeah, have a consistent game set up. Kha'Zix's full clear isn't the best, but it's still the best thing you can do, really. Because your early game is quite weak and you scale very well. So if you just get, like, the levels in there, that's generally what you want. Scuttle isn't the big deal. Scuttle is kinda useless. It's like 70 gold. And that's it. Like, it's not worth experience, so it's actually better to just give Scuttle and just take a camp instead. If you're gonna have to pick. The enemy jungler at most gets like a 70 gold advantage over you. Or maybe like a hundred something if he gets both scuttles. But that generally doesn't happen. I think he's warding. I'm just going to insta recall go bolt. Bolt's also getting pushed in. So a bolt gank should be very doable here. I'm going to buy the tier and a longsword. Leap out of base. If you make any type of play, you can easily get a Dirk first back, because you also, I mean, you run Fugis Market for that reason, really. So you, if you do get anything done, if you get Scuttle killed or anything, you'll have enough gold for the Dirk, but I didn't because I instantly recalled. So, yeah, I'm just gonna walk the bot instantly here. I'm just doing this based on the situation that I think she's gonna be, like, topside right here, and I would be able to pick up Bolt Scuttle as a trade. You just check for vision. Hopefully this isn't warded, that would be wonderful. It is not... No idea what summoners they have. You hold your E as long as possible. Alright. You missed the stun as well. Alright. The Ziggs actually kind of mentally got me with that one. He just kind of walked past me because of Senna's thing. And I didn't expect it properly. I doubt he actually went, walked up the ward here. So I can think I could just walk back in and just move. This time I'm going to leap a little earlier, because I know they have no summoners, so I can just jump to Senna real quick. Oh, he still had flesh. I was hoping he didn't have flesh anymore, but he used his satchel earlier. Okay, six, no flesh. Jin, my boy. Ooh, that's rough. The fact that he didn't get that is quite unfortunate for him. 
I should be hitting this to see if she does an early dragon. It's very likely for Shivana players to do something like that. That's still fine. I got some good ganks on bolt. That's a lot of pressure for them. No dragon. I'm gonna type war dragon if you can. She, it's very likely she does it here, but there's nothing I can really do to stop it, so I'm just gonna have to accept it. Stealth ward not available. It's gonna be an is what it is type of situation if they do take if she does take dragon here, which I think she will. If anyone has a ward, anyone at all, that would be great. I think she's doing it right. She's not. What is this dude doing? This is the most passive Shivana that I've seen ever for dragons. Usually just like they straight run it on dragon and it is what it is, you know? I'm just gonna chill. Yeah, she is on it right now. I don't think it's preventable because of the wave positioning here. As long as he doesn't die, we'll take this. This is okay. I will just accept it as it is. You know, the, the wave positioning didn't really allow for the dragon. I was hoping, like, maybe some pressure or maybe a ward could prevent something from happening, but it just really couldn't, so it is what it is. So we're gonna, probably going to just do a red. I'm just going to walk to her topside and take a gromp. I think I should be able to do that. This blue is not going to be up, but her gromp should be. Gonna to get bolt scuttle here as well, I would imagine. I think my best course of action is just take her Gromp and her Wolves. Even though that Wolves would be risky, because if she paths that way, I'm dead to a Pantheon ult, so I won't risk that. Actually, I'll probably dive this. He went, he went way too early. Alright, that's not good for us. I'm gonna have to accept that one. Is what it is. Get this. I'll buy another longsword, actually, yeah. The money for it. I hopefully, did, hopefully that didn't cost me my blue. My blue cat didn't cost me my... Oh, wait, no, she didn't. Good traps, though. She's probably gonna go for my blue now, and I think she would die off that. Not doing it. Interesting. Very surprising. Her best course of action would de definitely been just take my blue Gromp, knowing that I was top. Instead, she walked for a bot gank, which is good for me. She is going for the tanky build on Shivana as well. It's gonna make my my day my game very difficult to play, actually. I mean it's kind of fun to play it like that, but it's gonna be difficult. Uh, Botland seems to be doing well. I've helped him quite a good amount. Zareth has three kills now, so that should be very nice. Ideally here I just get a gank on mid. Soon. That would be great. If he just walks up and gets stunned, this could be good. What? What the hell happened to the other auto attack there? I mean, at that point I was committed, right? I had to basically go through with it because I was already dead. But I don't know what happened to my other auto attack. It looked so unbelievably strange. Pantheon is OP as hell, by the way. Being able to block all that, uh, all that damage towards that angle is really bad for us there. I would have killed him so easily if that wasn't the case. But yeah, what can I do? That sucks, though. I don't know what happened to my auto attack. If that auto attack would have hit, because it kind of cancelled itself weirdly, which I don't know what that was. But... Yeah, I uh, would have definitely, definitely gotten the kill and gotten out. I'm just going to take this over the wall because I think she's doing it. Okay, 
I'm not going to do that myself because that's an extremely bad position for me to be in. But I was expecting her to be on it instantly, actually. Move back top. Kind of had to wait for my equal down there. I think he got the Urgot already. Out of reach. It's just barely out of reach. Very sad. Very much nothing I can do about it. It was real, really close on that reach there. She did take this. Okay. I mean, based on her being bold, I can actually herald now. I guess I should, should just do it. On that, on that HP, there's no way he should be allowed to survive. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Yeah. I was expecting him to walk up for a ward there, and I just used my ult to kind of, like, walk in closer to him without him realizing and get the hit on him, which is good. 22 seconds on Dragon. I know he's there, but I don't think he can do anything. I'm gonna have to back here. Don't like the recall on this one though, because of the dragon. He just kills her, right? Oh, I missed! I actually missed. Oh no. I should have thrown it a little bit more to the left. That would have killed. That would have been absolutely huge. I know her red's up, right? So we're gonna play aggressive here for sure. This red is mine. I'll be patient here. She's not going to come back this way. That would be greedy as hell. Senna's playing up. I'm going to wait for my ult cooldown while I do this red buff here. Unstoppable. A flash saved her life. I think she would have died off that probably. No! Really? That's so annoying, actually. She walked back down there. I'm gonna do dragon here. Damn, I kind of wasted my ult there. I can die for this, actually. I know that Shivana can't be here because she was just way too low, so this is not that risky. But normally, that, if that wasn't the case, this, this would be very risky. Don't have the most kills. Zareth just picked up another kill there on the snipe on Ziggs that I would have loved to get. Or loved to have gotten. Because I still need to get the Ziggs for my stack there as well. I'm going to be in a good situation though, regardless. Because, I mean, my early game is a little slow here. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely a little slow. Can you get a stun for me, please? Thank you. It's a little bit slow, but that's okay. Because Kha'Zix kills really well. And it being slow doesn't really matter. Because I will scale up here. My next item is going to be big. Like, the next purchase here is going to be absolutely huge for me. Level 11 is essentially the spike I'm going to be looking for. And at that point, my kills will skyrocket. I can promise you that. It's going to be a kill. Yeah, I've definitely ruined bolt lane completely with those early ganks. That is very good. Even though I, like, didn't really get a kill out of it, that lost them a lot. And I gave my Zareth a lot, so we take those. Slow start, we're gonna be building into... I'm gonna get CDR boots right now. I'll get double longsword with the Futures Marker, that's fine. Get as much damage as possible. My uh, tier is stacked up quite high here now, so the next item will definitely be the Muramana. If your tier is, like, not as close to being fully stacked, you can b build a lethality item in between, essentially, to kind of overlap the time, or, like, hold you over, essentially, until you do get enough stacks. But this game, I got my tier very, very early, so the stacks should not be a problem whatsoever. I think I Herald, based on, basically, right now, instantly. 
Oh, that's gonna be a death on Zareth. Actually, it's good that the Ziggs gets that. I'm happy that Shivana didn't get that, because that would have been a lot worse. It's a lot of shutdown gold to get, and Ziggs is really not gonna be that useful. Because I just one-shot him most of the time anyway. It's gonna be a good time to pick up the Herald. I wanna use this Herald to break the mid turret for sure, because that opens up the map for us. Also, we know Shiv is bolt right now, so we're gonna walk into her topside and check whatever is up, and we take that. Which, the blue I was expecting to be up. The Gromp, maybe not so much. Oh, it's respawning. Okay, we're good. And that damage. He just absolutely wasted his damage reduction, though, so hopefully he dies. It's just Pantheon. It's hard for me to 1v1 him there. He just stuns me and does a bunch of damage to me. I'm gonna have to accept that one. Oh god. Exhaust, okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna instantly herald this. They're bolt lane right now, so we're just putting pressure on mid. I don't know why Mordekaiser is exactly walking towards top right now. He should be walking mid here for sure. Because they're, they're obviously gonna react to this situation right here, I would imagine. Die top 1v1 him. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna insta run top. This guy's most likely gonna push for the next wave or maybe even try to hit some turrets, hopefully. Nope, he's walking back. Okay, and we're just gonna go for the camp. We're almost level 11, which is gonna be a good state to be in. But a very, very slow kill game for me, which is not great. Because that means I can't snowball against a team like that, and that's pretty bad for me. I'm just holding myself in the game right now by just consistently like holding farm and stuff like that. One minute on Dragon. 1800 gold for that. I'll be fine eventually. This build that I'm build going for right now with the uh, Muramana does scale very well damage-wise. So I'll be able to put a lot more work in later on. But as of right now, this is definitely not good. Also, those Zareth deaths right now are coming in pretty bad. I'm gonna run Bolt right away. Should be able to catch out the Senna here. He's probably gonna walk towards the left, I would imagine. Not great. There's no way he runs from me. He's just both dead. I'm holding my Prowler's Claw there until I have like a good dash opportunity, really. I'm gonna have to do Wolves first. For HP. I wanna make sure I'm full HP when I go for that Dragon. I know he's in the bush. I'm just gonna like show my face a little bit so they don't just do the dragon. I see Ziggs mid. Likelihood that Senna walks through bolt here is fairly high, I would say. Maybe with a little bit of luck. Nope, she's right there. A good kill. We lost mid turret completely though. Hopefully Valkos holds wave. This is gonna be a risky dragon start, I think. Zig seems to be still mid, so this should be okay. I got it. Did I just I think I just messed up. Oh god! I'm gonna recall right away. Nice, he gets a kill in return, that's good. I'm not gonna waste any time and just press recall instantly. I need to leave that situation. This is good, I got my um, Muramana here. We also got the dragon, I just Q smited it basically. Q smite's very hard to out smite for any jungler. If you get the isolation damage especially, but even without it, should still be good. I have to sweep, not to face check the Urgot. No 
I'll leap over here. My leap should be up when I need it. Is that good? And then we just cut off the Zix here. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I need to get a big armor penetration item next. It's gonna be needed. I need to get Lord Dominic's probably, or nay, I need to get Grudge. That's the one. Not Lord Dominic's. Lord Dominic's would be stupid. Grudge is good. We need Grudge next. I'm instantly running top right now. This guy killing that guy would be quite big for experience. Oh god, oh god, oh he's just dead, isn't he? I need to play that as slow as possible and just use my ult to basically dodge out on her vision. I don't necessarily want to give him red, but I guess. I'm gonna stand here. I have a high assumption that the Senna is gonna walk up for this ward. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. She almost did. Her ward got replaced. This ward got replaced though, so I might actually be able to uh, cheese her here. That's a good snipe combo right there. Very big. Good kill. I'm playing this slow. I'm just gonna go for scuttle here. Kill. Lose down. I'm gonna instantly walk towards this fight. They're all chasing quite a bit, so I'm just gonna push in mid real quick. Don't have the damage to apparently one shot those at the moment. I do have quite a bit of gold though. Oh god. Okay, that. <laughs> he just flash ignite stunned me. There's nothing I can do. That is the worst thing that could have happened. I was about to leap away and about to get away from that play as well. And then he just did that. That absolutely sucks for me. I missed every shot. That was a very good flash stun from the Pantheon there. There's nothing I could have done counterplay wise. I just got instantly CC'd and killed. What? What is... Damn. That's huge. The fact that he killed me like that and Urgold get, gets a thousand gold out, that's bad. That's probably the worst target that could have actually killed me. I would have loved it to be like the Pantheon or the, like the Ziggs or something. Even the Shivana. Urgold's the worst one to get that kill. A thousand gold for him is really bad. Damn, yeah. I mean, there's literally no counterplay to a flash insta stun, right? The stun is undodgeable. I guess I could have ulted, but I had to predict his flash if I wanted to do that. So that's that's rough. This should be level 4. I'm not level 14 yet. Let's see if I can get the Senna here, maybe. Oh, my auto attack, can you go? Dude, what is that? Why is my auto attack just not going? I don't understand. I just don't understand at all. I do still have a smite ready. I, kn I knowingly smited like that earlier. They just need to hit him. They literally just need to hit the Urgold and it's gonna be super easy. Q assess Mordekaiser or ultimate right away. I'm gonna die to Ziggs bomb. I just took a lot of upfront damage there. I did get the dragon correctly. But that was a lot of damage to take. I mean, I'll happily trade my life at this point. Like, I'm not worth the shutdown gold anymore there, so the death isn't as bad. I'll happily trade my life for the dragon kill. That is not a problem. I knew I kind of would have to, or it's going to be forced into a situation that was going to be like that. 
So it was gonna happen regardless. I don't think, I, I could have maybe hoped the wall there and played even more aggressive, but if I do that, I give dragon, because Shivana can just ult over the wall, right? So I just play back there and just like try to get the smite on dragon and I got it, so it's good. But yeah, I definitely need to be very careful. Uh, I will happily trade there in that situation to ensure the dragon for us, because picking up the infernal soul for our team comp is huge. We have a lot of poke damage and the infernal soul essentially accentuates that. So you just get even more damage on it and it's just going to be absolutely ridiculous, essentially. Good. I'm starting to pick up a ton of kills, which is good. Like killing Ziggs would be my priority. If I can get him, that would be great, because he is doing quite some damage. But he's also a very easy kill for me. Urgle, not so much. They're gonna Baron here. They're definitely gonna Baron here, and I'm gonna need Vision. Oh god, oh god. I'm in a ton of pain right now, this is gonna be scary. Okay, Urgold ult down. I can heal. I don't think they're actually baroning, so that's fine. It's good for us. Okay, they're not on Baron. It has to be, like, a definitely not on Baron. Good. Six is going bot. I was able to insta-ult, so he couldn't really hit me. That's good. I can't kill Urgold. Urgold's literally not possible for me, but I'm gonna be able to kill Senna here for sure. Instantly dead. Good. We're gonna run bot right now. I'm gonna go cut these people off. This should be very easy. Good kill. I don't know if he's gonna go this way. I think I'm just gonna have to walk this way. I guess. He could have walked this way as well, but... I assumed he wouldn't. I can't actually walk or face check any of this, because the Urgot could be in there. Gonna have to permanently look for picks. I'm almost 16, which is gonna be very nice for the leap range. It's gonna help me a ton. I could also get Q Evolve here. It will help me, it will help me kill Urgot, but I'd rather have the increased leap range, I think. Just for resets as well through fights to get to the Ziggs and the Senna easier. If I can quickly get the Ziggs out of the fight, that would be great for me. Considering my next item right now. Some magic resist wouldn't be bad at all. I could easily go Maw here, which would be okay. See how he walks here. If he steps up this way, he's dead. He's going to. Okay, we're, he's dead. I slowed her. I think she should be dead guaranteed, right? She's not dead guaranteed. That's bad. I have to go do Gromp and then I can, could potentially return for this fight. It's a one for one trade there, it's not great for us. 30 seconds on dragon, that's a problem. We're gonna push mid here. Got the center. Could have potentially played more aggressive there. Almost impossible. This 
is my best way out. I don't know over how many walks, I, or how many wards I just walked, but please don't kill me. If they kill me here, they get Baron. This is just fingers crossed, don't die. Now we're alive, good. I'm gonna get Maw. I kind of have to, I think. I will also get better defensive boots. CC reduction. Maw is still a good offensive item, but I definitely need the extra resistances here. Because Ziggs is doing a ton of damage to me, and the Shivana will do a ton of damage to me as well. So the extra resistances plus the Omni Vamp I'll gain from it when it's once it's procced. It's gonna be very helpful as well. Just really annoying that right now it's just hard fights for us. Very, very hard fights. We have no vision. I have no idea if they're doing it or not. Let's hope they don't. Doesn't look like it. Just gonna get slowed there. Good kill, Baron. Got the sent out of position. Zix is bolt, so this should be a free Baron. I just hope I don't have to tank it. Go back to Baron now. No, he's gonna get so much. He's gonna get this turret as well. This is absolutely unfortunate. Gonna have to wait for the wave to pass and then just W him. I'm not happy. We lost so many bot turrets there. We did get Baron, I guess, but that's just like in a trade for literally every turret we had on both side. Senna's probably gonna make a mistake here, I would imagine. I got two. Playing around vision as much as possible. I'm quickly gonna go yoink a scuttle here, get some HP back. Got the Senna off the map, got the uh, Pantheon off the map, and the Ziggs is off the map as well, so this should be good. Just, I beg of you guys, please don't let them get away with this. They just don't do any damage, really. They kind of lost that play entirely. Zix is moving down. It's not great. Is this red still up? It should be, right? Yeah, okay. I actually don't want to smite here. I'd rather have to smite for a potential kill, like this Senna. Unable to finish off the sun, unfortunately. I can quickly get a recall off here. I think I should go for a spell shield. Spell shield red pulled. Spell shield is great here because it allows me not to get like like basically target CC'd by Pantheon, which is going to help a ton. Also, like Urgled flipped or something stupid like that. We just have to finish a dragon. As long as we can get this dragon right here, our team will be in a very good state because they'll have a lot of poke damage increase. gonna burst this this should be quick enough yep it's dead beautiful Your has been destroyed. I see her bolt side this could be a potential kill walking with sweeping trinket this is control warded
could have killed the Ziggs potentially there. But Senna was the safest of the safest. So I just opted for safety. If he kills Ziggs here, that would be amazing. Dudes! Dudes! What the hell just happened? What the hell did I just do? I feel like I messed up on something. I must have misclicked something. Oh my god. I feel like I just absolutely griefed the team. He's actually beating him in a 101 on top lane right here. That's huge. He needed to use his shield though. Okay, good. He got it. He got it. He got it. I messed up on the play somewhere. Did, my, did I mess up my E? What I think I did is I was trying to flash E the guy. But I think I E flashed instead and cancelled my E cooldown, essentially. Or cancelled my dash or something. I did something stupid. But there it is. That's the carry. That's good. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. Helps me quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.